This is one of several volunteer catnip plants from last fall that I planted in my garden. And just uh, as a personal experiment to see how effective it was at uh, repelling mosquitoes. But several scientific studies have shown that catnip, the essential oil in it, petal acetone, and that's the uh, essential oil that gives catnip its characteristic odor. Um, that's the essential oil is 10 times more powerful than DEET, and that's usually capitalized as D-E-E-T, the chemical acronym for the chemical compound used in most commercial uh, insect repellents. So the, the essential oil here is 10 times more powerful at repelling mosquitoes than DEET. So um, I just wanted to give it a field test. Eh? So what you do is you just would grab a couple uh, leaves off, take some uh, Johnson baby oil, non-scented, put that in your mortar and pedestal. And then you just grind it and you, you take the, uh, the oil from that and you, you use it as a uh, kind of a lotion. And uh, you can see how effective the uh, of a uh, mosquito repellent it is. And apparently it's also effective uh, at uh, repelling cockroaches. So you can maybe give it a try for that if you got cockroaches. But And there's some chance that you'd have an allergy to the plant. So I'd always recommend you do a very small patch on your skin because, I mean, people can have allergens to just about anything. So, or allergy reactions to about anything. So, um, before you go hog wild with it, test a small patch of your skin first. And, uh, so I actually harvested a bunch and froze it last year, but since it's, uh, oil, it can go rancid and it can grow bacteria. So, either once you make it, put it in the jar, put it in the fridge, and then probably throw it out and after a few days or at most a couple of weeks. And then, uh, I don't know, see how it works. Good luck.